What's up guys? Welcome back to T-Dog Customs. Uh, first off, right off the rip, we're just going to dive in. Um, if you're not following my Instagram, which is T-Dog Customs, the same spelling, uh, you are missing out because last night I was driving home from the gym. My radiator busted on the bottom hose, uh, busted pretty bad from rubbing on the underside of the fender and uh, almost left me stranded. I had to duct tape it together. Um, and fortunately I was at sheets to where I could uh, get as much water as I needed to get me back home. So uh, I duct taped it and we're back home. And uh, it is the next day, next evening. Uh, and I have a, another radiator hose uh, that we're going to pop on this bad boy. Uh, and then tomorrow morning I have a hood that I'm picking up so maybe we'll record some of that uh, journey we will be taking the f-350 and uh, roll in about an hour um, they're selling it for $40 so it's a YJ hood uh, it does have some one spot where the paints cracked but I don't care because I will sand it all down uh, and we're gonna be wrapping it uh, in this chalk gray. So tomorrow the hood should be installed and wrapped. Also in this video, if you haven't seen my last video, I did a video on installing uh, round uh, tail lights on my YJ. Um, I'm thinking about, I was just gonna sell these but they're functioning and working. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway um, and getting entered to win these. Uh, they're both in excellent condition. Um, nothing wrong with them, just I didn't want the, uh, I wanted to change up the style. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. Um, so if you are interested at all in a uh, giveaway for some uh, tail lights for a YJ, uh, you know comment down below uh, or go to my Instagram which is T Dog Customs and message me there but uh, I'll probably do a poll on Instagram and we'll see what happens good morning folks we're uh, in beautiful Virginia just cruising uh, on route 3 we're headed up like near Richmond to pick up a uh, YJ Jeep hood so Got up nice and early on this Saturday and gonna roll up there. And then hopefully uh, the hood does have a little bit of damage as far as like paint crack, but we'll sand that all down and we should be good to go. Uh, this guy is uh, charging $50, uh, $40. So uh, $40 for a hood, you know, not bad, not bad. So. We're just enjoying the drive. Just checking in, probably one last time before we get there. We're about 30 minutes out on 95 here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I will probably, I just for the the guy's privacy, I'm not gonna video. In two miles, take exit 84B to merge onto I-295 toward Charlottesville. That was rude. I was talking. Uh, anyways, um, for his privacy, I'm not gonna video. Alright, uh, just got back from picking up the hood. If we look at the hood I have currently, you can see it's dented and then it looks like someone tried to repair it with Bondo. Um, and there's dents here, here, all along here, really bad one here. Um, and right here, right here. Um, so it's seen better days. Uh, so this is the new hood. is in bad shape but you, know, you can see it's peeling right 
but as far as dents go, it is dent free and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So uh, we will sand that scrape and sand that all up and uh, then we will be able to put it on. I'm debating on wrapping the hood while it's off, maybe set up some tires um, and kind of wrap it while it's off. I'm, I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure. It would be easier to get around the edges if I did, uh, you know, if it was all uh, off of the Jeep. So I'll probably do that. I need to powder coat the hinges, but I don't think I'm going to get be able to get to that today. Uh, I'm hoping to get the hood wrapped and on, and then maybe take the hard top off, possibly, and get the body wrapped. But we'll see where today takes us. Um, yeah, that'll be it. I'm gonna go grab some lunch real quick. I'll be right back. All right, we got the, the Jeep out, the hood in here. Uh, we're gonna take off all the hardware, like the latches. Uh, that light is coming off. Don't need that where we're going. Uh, those things coming off. And then also, we're gonna have to cut uh, some of this out under here. If we go over here, you can kind of see uh, what we, what I had to do to clear the radiator, the cap, stuff like that. So we're gonna pretty much uh, probably try to trace that same same line, uh, and then you know put it over on this one, and we should be good to go. In my particular case, because. The engine swap and the radiator location and all that like i was mentioned earlier have to do some customizing so i went ahead and got that all cut out pretty much all this had to come out and then there's um, a latch here that has to come out uh, and you know sanded everything smooth <laughs> So there's going to be a lot of sanding. Um, this just takes time, so I'm not gonna like time lapse it or video it, but I'll just show you guys. I'm not like trying to get it all down to bare metal, um, but I just wanna get the bad paint off uh, and get it down to some smooth metal, stuff like this. Um, I'm, not, I'm not like too concerned with it. Um, I want it to look as good as possible, but keep in mind, this is not a show Jeep, really. Uh, it is a Jeep that I'm going to be taking out in the woods, mountains, rocks, uh, and it's probably going to get scratched up at some point. I, uh, I have this all sanded down. Um, there is some damage right here that was under the paint. I thought it was just cracked paint, but apparently it was a little bit of Bondo. Uh, I ground it down to below the Bondo and there is a little ripple there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It was a $40 hood. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's much better than this spot. Um, it, it looks like it might be a con it's in the same area it looks like it might be from like the hood falling backwards and hitting the windshield possibly um, because okay, there's a little bit on this side too so I don't know that could be a thing with Jeeps uh, but uh, anyways it's pretty common I think we got that I went ahead now I've heard uh, like professional rappers say um, 
not like the singing rapper but not the singing rapper but the kind that uh you know raps via uh, vinyl and stuff like that so i've heard them talk about uh putting primer down and like the tough edges to make it stick i don't know if they're talking about like paint primer or some other kind of thing i however am using primer because uh, where you get down to the bare metal you want to cover that up obviously so it doesn't rust if water gets under there so I've sprayed it down with primer however I've also sprayed along this uh, edge and then along here and along the uh, whole outer edge as well just to give an extra bond for the wrap it's a beautiful day out saturday temperatures probably in the 60s like close to the 60s if not 60. um anyways and uh we got the hood off of course because we're doing work on the hood but i thought it might be fun to take this out to town uh, run a few errands with it hoodless so and we got the doors off so <clears throat> let's go ahead and run out and uh, do that and then we'll come back and we'll wrap that hood should have it all cleaned off and ready to wrap So I don't have enough wrap to uh, wrap the whole thing twice. So uh, I made sure I had plenty and I'll cut some of this excess off uh, before I peel the backing off. I wanna make sure though that I have This is good because I would not have had enough. Remember, we still have the uh, protective layer on as well. So. The camera cut out, but I got most of it wrapped. Um, it came out all right. I'm not like overly thrilled about it, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. So all that was wasted. You want to play with this? Oh, please. Show mama. No, 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 no.
point now, guys, if, uh, if you get a scratch on it, it is in the wrap. So, want to be very careful, but the only reason I take it off is for uh, doing the edges. I appreciate you helping. It's very nice that you want to help. You want to play with this? Ellen. Haha. <laughs> Can you show that to Mama? Aha. Can you show Mama? So I got this back edge done. I'm gonna stand it up now. Like that. And uh, now I'll cut and work around the rest. But uh, it's coming together. I want to show you guys up close how I'm cutting out these holes you'll need to cut out. Get your heat gun and you kind of press them in like that. That way you have a good uh, good spot. You stick your, your knife in. Kind of go around like that. All 
that. Then, once you're done, you want to run your feet back over it like that. And just like that, we are done. Is the hood perfect? No. Will it get the job done? Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna set it back on. But I'm not going to show you guys me putting it on. I'll wait till I do maybe some B-roll at the end of this and show you guys the finished product. Well, it is uh, too dark outside to do like any sort of like B-roll, like cool shots. So I'm just gonna show you guys how the hood uh, turned out. So here it is. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not, it's not perfect. Um, you know, I'm not good at this. This was my first time, but um, it's good enough for a trail rig. Like this is not a show rig. It is a trail rig. So it, it, uh, it'll do good. Got the Jamaican teal right here. Um, all the hinges. Now that I have two sets of hinges, um, these hinges, I'm going to start powder coating them um, in Jamaican teal. Uh, so uh, a, a powder coating video will be coming shortly because I've got some other accents uh, to do around the Jeep as well. And uh, so on, on cool days when uh, there's not much to do, uh, you know, fire up the oven in the garage and start baking some powder coat so um, anyways there it is hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did not enjoy making it because let me tell you wrapping is something that I do not enjoy in this kind of environment it's very frustrating dust gets everywhere um, and you're not supposed to wrap a vehicle in this kind of environment, just FYI. So, uh, but it's good, it's good. It's a cheap way to change the color of your vehicle and it does look very, very good, I must say. So, uh, all that, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, or don't, I don't care. Actually, I do care, so do subscribe. And uh, keep grinding. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.